G'day Tankers, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Stomiaka21, and today I've brought you a battle in my, uh, I'll say new, T67 Tier 5 Tank Destroyer. Now, as of patch 9.3, the T49 uh, has been renamed to a T67, and it's also had a bit of an, a facelift. Now, I don't know, apart from the turret, and I think the body's been changed a little bit as well, but I can't, I can't confirm, I don't like it. it. I think it now looks ugly, and uh, I, playing it just doesn't... I, I, it plays exactly the same, but there's something about it which I just don't like anymore. I used to love the old tank, I now do not like the new tank. Which is really sad because this is, was one of the tanks I could just jump into when I was having a, a bad round and just not going to do well in it. And I'll show you what happens in this replay. Um, and yeah, make it, make up your own mind. So, like, it's petty because it plays exactly the same. There's nothing there's nothing wrong with it performance wise. Um, but I just there's something about it I just cannot. I just can't enjoy playing this tank anymore because I just don't like the look of it anymore. Uh, it's probably because I just don't like open turrets. Open turrets frustrate me, which is weird because the M18 Hellcat um, is one of my favourite tanks as well. Um, that's kind of been nerfed as well, so I'm sort of unsure if I like that thing anymore. Anyway, let's get on with the replay. replay. Well, as you can see, I haven't moved yet. I'm having to think about what I wanted to do. This map always confuses me, and I've actually never been this, uh, map on with this tank before. Um, so yeah, we're on Live Oaks. Um, not my favourite map, to be honest. Um, well, I've basically done, I've popped down this little area here, um, so it's full of some dense foliage, 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 depending on where you're from, uh, whichever. Um, yeah, we're just going to spot some enemy, wait for the enemies to pop up and we'll spot them and then we'll shoot them, as is the name of the game. So yeah, I... If you're going to run this tank, um, I, I would personally run it with, um, uh, a rammer, obviously. I think any tank that relies um, on damage for its XP, such as the um, heavy tanks, medium tanks, well, actually, no, pretty much anything but medium tanks, and, uh, sorry, light tanks, and even that's debatable. Um, yeah, I, I think it, it really depends on your play style. I personally think that every tank should have a rammer, and um, in fact, sometimes I, I think that there should be four slots and you should be able to take or there should be no rammer if there was no rammer that'd be make, make choices a lot easier so let's see we've tracked that in three Stuart put another round in and someone else finishes them off very nice there put another round with that in T67 I'm never used to saying that word I think just gonna take some sneaky shots put another round to him you can see this gun, the reload is not really quick. Um, and it's the equivalent of the, um, the tier 5 Sherman's gun. Um, but it doesn't, this, the gun on the Sherman doesn't reload this quick. It takes like f 3 or 4 seconds. Between 3 and 4 seconds. We're uh, using a lot of, using our, um, oh, there's a nice shot there. Looks like we're getting some nice shots in that turret. Unfortunately, this, this gun's not the most accurate, so it's really hard to get um, good shots. But we've got the um, the reload sort of some good shots. We're getting really unlucky here, actually. I've never seen this do this bad. There we go. And then nice. No, missed him again. And I think this is the kill shot. There we go. Alrighty. Next on the list is a. Where is he? I believe we're firing the Matilda next. Yes, we're going to fire the Matilda. 
until the date was tanked here for um, anything above its own tier, I think it's a bit, it's a bit pathetic, really. Enemy armor is destroyed. We've got two kills and seven hundred damage already. You can see we've got some really good gun depression here as well. We just get a sneaky shot on that Panzer 3A. I don't know what he's doing, he's a scout, he should be um, doing something other than what he's currently doing. Enemy armor is so far we haven't taken any damage, which is good. Um, I think this is actually quite good. KV-1S, now tier 5. Um, doesn't have the fear factor as it did before. Um, I don't even think the KV-85 has the fear factor. Because the amount of times I've seen um, one of them, a KV-85 with 128 mm, 128, what am I talking about? 122mm, um, pop up around the corner, fire at me, point blank range and miss is just ridiculous. So, I don't know, like, if I see groups of um, KV-85s with 100mm guns, wow, those things put out a lot of damage. And I think you're something worthy of um, fear. I mean, it's a, yeah, if, you, if you've done the math, it's about six seconds. I don't know what I'm doing here. I can't actually shoot an M7. I've got no arm, and he have he should have the, um, the better gun. So yeah, we're gonna get into a good spot here. Penetration. Nice shot there, and then another shot. I don't think I can actually see him because I think he was just firing randomly. So yeah. So we've done 1424 damage. So the great thing about this tank is, and st was and still is, um, the the speed. Um, it's not very um, manoeuvrable. Like, it can't turn quickly. You know, and it sometimes will bleed a lot of speed when you're turning. Um, but that's the one thing you can still say about this, uh, this little tank. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, it's just something that looks about it that I don't like. As you can see, there's someone whinging about um, some firing eight. I, I think that changed with the patch, because I don't remember that, that, that little bit being as steep. The KV-1S was um, doing quite well. It's a pity that I'm going to have to put him down. Enemy armor is destroyed. We just hit the last shot into him and we end up with 1495 damage. Um, what can I say? Not much I could have done differently there. Um, I think I played a really good game there. Um, probably when I was in this sort of... I think if I was over here, I was trying to trade shots with the M7. I think it would have been better just to continue going rather than taking the two shots. Um, not that it mattered. We had still had plenty of health. Um, yeah, I, I think that was a well-executed game, really. Um, let's go to the post game stats. As you can see, um, it was a mastery badge, which is nice, uh, high calibre, and assorted medals, obviously. Um, didn't have a great hit rate, um, but tanks with fast firing guns like this, I, I tend not to have great hit rates in those, but as long as your gun's still firing, um, you get a good um, hit rate. Profit of uh, 28,551. 1677 XP, um, spotting damage, we have one thousand, well, sorry, damage due to assistance, so that's whether we track people and whatnot, so it's 1181, that was due to our assistance, and we did ourselves 1495, um, the next replay, is, yep, yeah, as you can see, you got pretty high XP, which is nice. Um, that would have just been due to the uh, spotting damage that we received. Um, this fella um, here did, almost, did pretty well in this team. Um, although someone accused him of firing heat. He may have been firing heat, I don't know. Um, but 
to do massive amounts of damage with the derf gun if he was using the derf gun. He kind of got to use heat um, a little bit here and there. Um, obviously, I choose the targets. Um, props to the Stug, he did really well too. Um, I don't know what he what he would have got. He probably may have got tank sniper. Um, something like that. I think that's the. Oh no, that's no. I think that's the tier five monster. Um, yeah, not a bad game all up. Um, fair few people on zero results, which is a bit sad, but that happens. Um, next screen is details. Um, shots fired 35, 17 hits, uh, which of 7, 16 penetrated. Um, as obviously damage was 1495 uh, from a distance of more than 300 meters was 332. Hits received three, they're all penetrated, we've got no arm, it's paper tank. Um, vehicles spotted, we have spotted one ourselves. Uh, vehicles damage destroyed, we uh, damage nine of which four were destroyed. Um, Damage caused by my assistance, well, 1,181, and we travelled a distance of 1.44 kilometres. Um, yeah, pretty nice game, nice and simple. Um, good, still a very good um, example of how you should play your, um, your American tank destroyers, well, your fast American tank destroyers, so high tier ones, I'm still not up to those yet. Um, but... Yeah, that, that tank and the Hellcat have very similar play styles. Um, Hellcat probably a little bit different in the sense it's got a slower reload and it's got a higher damage gun, so you're probably more likely just to pop up, fire around and relocate, fire around and relocate. Rather, this one's just fire, 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 and just keep the rounds going down range. So it's more of a machine gun, I guess. Anyway, um, that's this replay. Um, as I said, you probably ne will never see this tank again, because I can't stand to look at it. It makes me sick. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Um, the M18 Hellcat's probably going to get sold as well. Um, just, don't know. I've tried playing it, and it's okay. I know it was OP, and it had to be done, but it was kind of my favourite. So, oh well, what can you do? Um, this is a replay before from before I sold the Pershing and the T29 um, and bought the Patton yet. Uh, they're both gone now um, and in their place is a Patton and I'm growing credits for the, oh, what is it called? The T32, that's the one. Oh dear, my brain's just not worth it anymore. Um, yeah, that's it. Alright, well, um, I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, I'll probably, won't be any more replays out this weekend, you'll probably see another one next weekend or the weekend after, you'll probably hopefully see two, I'm trying to do two every other weekend at, at least, um, otherwise I'm worried about losing you guys and I don't want to lose you guys. Um, so we haven't asked before and I'm, I'm basically begging, um, share and like the video if you could please, um, it really helps the channel out, um, it also helps uh, fund my tank habit. Um, this is pretty much what the channel's for, for a bit of, bit of fun for me and some self-analytics and also to fund my glorious tank habit as we all have, but yeah, I need I need a way to finance my tank habit more than just my normal pay. Anyway, um, that's the begging done. I hope you guys have a good, good day and enjoy your tanking and if you see us in game, Feel free to shout out, say hello, you're for one or platoon, I'll happily platoon with you for a couple of games, and yeah, um, definitely catch up. Anyway, talk to you later guys, see ya, bye.